In the previous video we talked to you about a series of stories about the development of Chinese fighter aircraft such as the J-16, J-15T, J-20 and so on. Today we talk about the PLA j 10 and the matching 1473 flat panel slit radar. It must be said that the 1473 radar belongs to the standard equipment of the PLA J-10 a series of fighters, and it is also the main radar model of China in the early 21st century. So what is the comprehensive performance level of the 1473 radar? Today we will talk about this issue. First of all, let's talk about the development of Chinese fighter aircraft. For a long time, China's aviation industry, Electronic information technology is limited and able to develop a suitable four-generation aircraft. As of the 1980s, the main fighter aircraft of all countries in the world have entered the era of the fourth-generation aircraft. Take the United States as an example. As a superpower, the United States has developed a series of main models such as F-14, F-15, F-16, F-18 and so on. As of 2025, it is still launching various improved models such as the F-15X, F-16V and so on. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union launched the Su-27, MiG-29 and other main fighter aircraft. France belonging to the European Aviation Powerhouse also launched the Mirage 2000 series of fighter aircraft. Compared with previous fighters, the fourth generation of fighters has very good maneuverability in the radar and avionics system greatly improved can support over-the-horizon combat guided the use of medium-range bombs to combat enemy warplanes. After entering the 1980s, China entered a very valuable honeymoon period with European countries. During this time, China was exposed to a range of advanced equipment, systems and technologies from Europe and the United States. It played a key role in the development of China's defense modernization after the 1990s. For example, in 1982, China had already examined the French Mirage 2000 series of fighters and deployed elite pilots to test fly the Mirage 2000. It must be said that after the test flight of the Mirage 2000, the Chinese pilots gave it a very high evaluation. It is also true that there was a huge technology gap between the Chinese warplanes in this period. In the 80s, the early version of J-8 had just been finalized and its performance was still not perfect. The J-7 series fighters were still the mainstay of the PLA forces, such as the J-7-1, J-7-2 and so on. In order to catch up with the world's advanced level and further strengthen the PLA's air power, China started the J-10 program in 1986 to develop China's own fourth-generation aircraft. Of course, the development of J-10 program was not smooth. As of 2004, the whiteboard type of Chinese J-10 fighter jet was finally finalized and began to be produced in small batches and equipped with troops. However, the number was limited to a few dozens. The performance of J-10 was not perfect during this period. In particular, the radar and avionics could not support the use of PL-12 medium-range bombs. 2006, the upgraded J-10 was finalized. Compared with the previous J-10 whiteboard model, the J-10 adopts the domestically produced 1473 flat panel slit radar, which represents China's highest level in the early 21st century. The 1473 radar carried by the J-10 a fighter is capable of using medium-range rounds such as PL-11 and PL-12, as well as PL-8, fighting rounds and other models. It belongs to the early 21st century and is the main model of the PLA forces. Subsequently, J-10S, J-10A and other models appeared, and according to the statistics of foreign media, J-10A has produced and equipped more than 300 aircrafts, which are widely equipped with Air Force and Naval Aviation units. So, what is the comprehensive performance level of J-10A? According to the analysis of foreign media, the comprehensive performance of J-10A is comparable to that of F-16C, specifically, with the F-16 F-16 Block 25, 30 batches roughly equivalent, belonging to the fourth generation of fighters, in the early middle level. As for the performance of the domestic 1473 flat panel slit radar, according to reports, the maximum detection range is between 130 and 160 kilometers. It is capable of tracking 10 targets simultaneously and attacking four of them. It has to be said that the Type 1473 radar is at a moderate level for the early 21st century, 
using the 1553B data bus to connect to other equipment. According to the media, the domestically produced Type 1473 radar is roughly on the same level as the APG-68B series radar carried by the US F-16C D fighters. According to the introduction, the American APG-68 series radar with a maximum detection range of 140 or 150 kilometers, is capable of simultaneously tracking 10 targets and striking six of them at the same time. According to the above comparison, the 1473 radar and the American APG-68 series radar are generally on the same level. During the same period, China developed the J-11B fighter aircraft to use the 1493 series flat panel slit radar. The later developed J-15 shipboard fighter also used this series of radar. Before the major breakthrough in active phased array technology, the 1473 and 1493 radars were part of the main standard equipment of the PLA's various fourth-generation aircraft. After entering the 2010s, China made a series of major breakthroughs in the field of electronic information technology, especially after 2015. China has developed a series of warplanes such as J-16, J-10C, and J-20, all of which use active, phased array radar. During the same period, the KLJ-7A active phased array radar was also used in the Lord Dragon series of fighter aircraft designed and developed by China for Pakistan. China has not disclosed the performance of the above radar, however, we can refer to the latest APG-83 series active phased array radar used by the US F-16 series fighters. According to the performance data disclosed by the US at the airshow, the APG-83 series active phased array radar has a maximum detection range of 160 km for a combat target of 2 square meters. For a 5 square meter target, the maximum detection range is 200 km. For large surface ships, the maximum detection range is 370 km. Based on the APG-83 series radar, we can speculate the radar performance on the Chinese J-10C, as the 1473 and 1493 radars are already 20 years old technology, many aspects of performance have lagged behind significantly. In recent years, China has begun to upgrade the J-11B and J-10A fighters in various aspects. One of the most important points is to replace the active phased array radar and integrated avionics system. Taking J-11B as an example, after the mid-term upgrade, a white radome was adopted, so it is also known as the white-headed J-11 as for the 300-odd J-10A fighters. The scale of the mid-term upgrade is relatively small. According to the report, J-10A fighters are replaced by JKL-24 series air-cooled active phased array radar, which is far inferior to the liquid-cooled radar used by J-20, J-10C, J-16 and other fighters in terms of heat dissipation performance. It can be seen that China is also very cautious about the mid-term upgrade of the J-10A and does not want to spend too much energy and money. In recent years, there has been very little news about the medium-term upgrade of the J-10A. Obviously, the PLA needs to repeatedly weigh the cost-effectiveness of the mid-term upgrade of the J-10A to see if it is cost-effective or not.